So, what do we have here? Ah, a showdown between a sheriff and a police sergeant, huh? Well, that seems rather interesting. Good evening. How are you doing? You're doing well in yourself? I'm doing all right. What's your hurry? You're very recklessly from the city all the way here, man. In and out of traffic, not using right. turn signal. Man, I watched you. It took me this long to catch up to you. I'm sorry. So in other words, another person that doesn't look in the rear view mirror, having absolutely no situational awareness. You were 70 plus. I didn't think I was up. I checked you at 65. I'm sorry. What's your hurry? I just, I gotta get my medication. You gonna drive, try to kill people over no, medication? No, well, it helps with my anxiety. If that car in front of you would have slammed on brakes, you would have caused a wreck right here. Speaking of no situational awareness, tailgating, huh? And speaking of lack of braining, needing medication to help with your anxiety, and then still driving to get your medication for your anxiety. I mean, if I were driving next to you in the road and I knew about your situation, I would be rather anxious as well. And I don't even need medication to help me with that. You clearly, I do. What kind of medication is it? It's uh, for bipolar and, and anxiety. Okay, I don't think that medicine would make you drive the way you were driving. No, because it's starting to wear off. I was expecting to be home. It's starting to wear off? Yeah. How many times a day you take it? One, 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 Well, the way you were driving, you, 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 you have to fly up taking the medication. Well, maybe you don't need to be driving at all. No, well, as long as I'm on my medication. Well, why don't you take your medication with you? Because I expect it to be home. Hang tight. Oh, here's a pro tip. Maybe next time you need to drive even faster. What the actual hell, man? Feeling the physical effects of your medication wearing off and then still having the audacity to step behind the wheel of your truck. So now that the sergeant is back at his cruiser to deal with all the stuff related to this traffic stop, suddenly Sheriff Henderson shows up to interfere with this traffic stop, asking questions about where did you actually violate the law, inside or outside the town. But from the sound of it and the long time it took for the sergeant to actually catch up to this uh, mad lad, I'm guessing it would, you know, be the town and everything around it. If this was in the Netherlands, he would already be there in Germany. driving or any of that i wrote you for speed just like i told you 65 and a 45 i did put what you say and what i observed okay, okay. your court date is august 8th 2022 at the hiawassee city hall okay show up for court okay if you would sign right here it's not a mission of guilt just saying i explained it to you coming through town like that, man. Oh, yeah, Traffic's sorry. heavy, okay? All right, be careful. Sir, got a question. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on, man. Inside the city or out here? Oh, just right here. Okay. Uh, pull uh, so go pull the video at no, Valero. Don't let you get on my traffic stop again, I will arrest I'll, you. Yeah, I'll arrest you right now. Do it. Did these guys just threaten to arrest each other? <laughs> Well, I've never seen that before. Hey, don't make me come over there and arrest a lot of you. I've got a dungeon and I'm not afraid to use it. Buddy, and we're gonna do it. Do it. Charges do it. Your do it, at. Do it, Oh, Go it. Go for do it. Do it. There's it cameras at Valero it, it, and there's it, cameras it, at Napa that see you pulled out. Shut your fucking mouth. You don't talk to me like that. I'm not I your boy. Talk to you, fuck do boy. It. You a fuck boy. Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Down three or two, down six. Yeah, boy. Motherfucker. That's some uh, real professional uh, nonsense right there, Mr. Sheriff Man. Maybe you need to go 
ride a horse into town and pretend you're a cowboy. For fuck's sake, man. That was so unprofessional. At least the officer that we're, you know, in the car with right now, he backed off and de-escalated the situation as he should. Kinda strange, isn't it? Not having a sovereign citizen to slap around for a bit. Now it's the sheriff that needs to be slapped around for a bit. Now if you found that exciting, remember to tickle the bell on all things around it and I will see you uh, next time. Uh, bye bye would have been funny if the citizen actually, you know, stepped out of this car and said, I'm gonna arrest the both of you. A citizen's arrest isn't a thing, but hey, would be funny.